Virgo, how are we doing? Today is an interesting day as it's February 11th and I didn't realize it was 2-11-2022. So Virgo, I do not recall your last reading that we did together, but I can tell you that this reading is intimidating. Um, prior to doing your reading, I did um, the prayer and then I flipped open to John 11, chapter 11, or excuse me, John 10, it was John 10, John 10. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. The thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. I'm sorry for the silence. Give me a moment. He, he flees because he is a higher hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Okay. So that was what um, the chapter I read and then we pulled your message. Give me the message for Virgo. And I pulled your cards. So Virgo, honey, I'm talking to an empress. Um, might be talking to it. My, my cheeks are so flushed right now. And there's so much red in your reading. There's a lot of red in your reading. And there's a ton of red in your reading. Um, someone is very curious, I mean, curious. Um, they, you know, there's a thief, a robber here. Um, praying, they're trying to pray on you, praying, praying. It's interesting, the double play on words there, pray and pray, because someone's praying on Virgo. This is a hired hand. This isn't um, a shepherd because a shepherd would lay down their life for their sheep. A hired hand would flee and scatter the sheep and allow the wolf to come in. And that is what, um, excuse me, that is what I'm seeing here. Um, it's like very, or, it's like someone's fattening someone up. There's some, um, this person is so curious. I mean, look at this. You've got curious, you've got, listen, there, there's a discovery here. And this person is very curious about your hidden knowledge. Just as in the scripture there of John 10, when Jesus came, Jesus did all these miraculous works and they went to stone him. They didn't stone him for what he did. They stoned him because they were jealous of his capabilities. They stoned him because, or they attempted to stone him because, um, they were jealous, envious, and they accused him of lying. They wanted him to perform on the spot. Someone's discovered you. They're very curious about you for all the wrong reasons. Right now, um, because I had that clarifier. Uh, usually this is my past, present, and future. Mm -mm. They were making it clear. This is now. This person wants proof. They want proof 
of your works and that is what we that's and my cheeks are so red they're so hot and you've got so much red here um i might be talking to a redhead is there a redhead here there's a lot of red uh, and i don't like it This person is being uh, sold almost. It's playing you, pl praying on you, playing you and praying on you. Yeah, they're really watching you grow and they are very curious about you. How you figure things out, Virgo. They want proof, and it looks like they got it. It's like, um, how is he or she doing it? Mm -hmm. They're lying. They lied on their application. Someone is not being stoned for what they did. They've shown many great works. But this person doesn't believe. They don't know what they're doing. They're lying. Their work is so sloppy. They don't, it's unskilled. It doesn't look, it doesn't look the way it should look because I don't know if I'm talking to another reader or another clairvoyant, another telepath. I don't know what your job is, whatever works you're doing. They are coming for you and they're saying that you don't know what you're, they're shit talking. Unskilled. You're lying. You don't know what you're doing. You're naive, that you're arrogant. You're um, the only thing more dangerous than ignorance is arrogance. Mm -hmm. But it's funny because the same person coming for you Uh, they're going to try to challenge you somehow to get a work out of you. And it's very mischievous. This is a plan of mischief. Because they want to measure if you're going to be accurate. It's like they're purposely going to set you up to fail to prove to others that you're lying. Does that make sense? And then um, at your king or queen status, people will no longer value you. Do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we believe that we see reality objectively and without bias and that others are irrational and uninformed and biased. Have you ever thought about this perspective or blah, blah, that you're naive? You're spoiled, someone's spoiled. Yeah, I mean, you know, an empress or an emperor would come across as spoiled, they would, um, because you are a sheep, of, you're one of God's sheep. Of course you would come across because they're jealous of your looks, the work that you do, like this is a hater. Someone here has a lot, and my cheeks are so warm and flush. Look at all the red in your reading. You got so much red. I don't like this. We, tr uh, we trust and we are more influenced by the opinions of authority figures. Um, I feel like if this is, is this a, a reader attacking another reader? It's almost the way it feels. It's someone that has really bad energy and they do, it's like this person might have some type of gifts as well, but they use their gifts for bad Uh, what is the scripture I'm thinking about? Gifts and talents are without repentance. Meaning the measure. The measure that was given to you by God. There's a measure of gift and talent that he put in everybody. 
okay? And it's without repentance. Someone's using their gifts for bad, to do bad things. Mm -hmm. Person's very jealous of your gifts. They hunt you. This person hunts you down. And they don't, this person hates nothing about you. There's a thin line between love and hate. When you have someone that hates you this much, uh, they have a weird obsession with you. And you have the word weird in here, by the way. Because you're so rare, there's someone here. Uh, are you have red hair. There's something red. There's a lot of red in your reading. You are rare and free, and there are not many like you. Again, with the red. Who's red? Depression in this card is black and red, and I have it here, and I have it here. Look at the black and the red. I mean, there's a lot of black and red in your reading, and... But there's, this is on a white card because, you know, white cancels out. There's, white cancels those things out. Person's depressed and misery loves company. And they're challenging you. And I have you as a queen where you've, you, uh, you're so, you're some type of rarity, whatever work you do. And this person, this depressed person, again with the red and the black, do you see it? You see her face? Nonsense, it's time to talk sense. These people wanna challenge you the way they, in the scripture they did with, these people didn't believe Jesus. My God, do you think they're gonna believe you? They didn't believe Jesus of all people. Uh-huh. Um, somebody's um, gifts have grown. There was a measure of talent that's been given to you by the Most High. Um, and you've worked on it. You've worked on your gratitude. Look at the royal here. Someone here, again with the red, red hair, again with the purple. Do you see it? Red and purple here. Um, Somebody really perseveres because they know who they are. They know that spirit's in them, that spirit works through them. These, pictures, these people are jealous of you. They're jealous of your light. There's an attack on your life because of the light. These people, it's when Jesus would draw a crowd wherever he went. And many times he would say, do not tell them I'm here. He would. The disappearance of a sense of responsibility is the most far-reaching consequence of submission to authority. At any rate... Um, this feels very spirit-led on this divine feminine. There's a divine feminine here. There feels like there's, um, I don't want to say this yet, but, because I don't want to be wrong. I feel like mm, there's an ascension here. Someone has been given more um, gifts. Your gifts have heightened. Your works are greater. Spirit is working through you. They sure are. Mm -hmm. People, people watch you. They love you. Again, with the commitment and the responsibility. Some of these people truly adore you and your work and their fans. Others want to harm you, um, holding on to you so tightly they're going to choke you. I mean, I have it so prominent here. This woman figure holding, holding. 
I hope that this isn't the same woman here because that's sure what it looks like. This woman, oh, Someone here is very cared for. There's a hater that's close to you. I don't know. I don't want to say that yet. Um, what I do see is that it's hard to tell your fans, your friends, from the fakes and the snakes is what I see. I'm seeing that these people are pretending I'm seeing that someone here is hanging out with people. Now, it's really hard to judge people when they are around you so much and they're so happy to see you. But understand, um, there's a measure of envy. There's a measure of envy. Anytime that you're blessed and favored to this degree, it's like, yeah, they want to be around you because you're Jesus. You're doing the Lord's work, but you need to be careful because people turn envious very quickly. This person may not have always been an enemy. I mean, um, neither was Satan. I mean, he too, God loved him at one time. People turn bad. They turn against you. And that's what I see here. This person, I don't like it. The grip. This person's trying to weigh you down. I have it here with the grip. There's a grip on you. This person, look here. A grip. This person's got a grip on, they're, they're weighing you down. This person wants, there's something, I, I don't like this. This person wants you to prove it. Prove you're not a fake. They're going to set you up somehow. Like something might happen where your gifts would really work right now because we're in a crisis, but this crisis feels planned. Mm -hmm. I'm going to test the uh, relationship you have with the Lord. This person might lure you out to an undesirable location to prove that you're a fake and that you're only doing it for money. It's like somebody who would record someone and ask them a question. Um, like somebody would give a response and then they would take your response and, and then cut and paste it. Um, like they would say something arrogant and stupid and would paint anybody in a bad light and then they would paste your response into it. Do you see what I'm saying? This person I, obsessed with you. I mean, look how tightly they're gripping you. This person and what what is this fattening you up bit about? There's a lot of eating. What is up with all the eating? Either that or it's somebody in your family. A queen. I have a queen here. I have an empress for sure. There's too much queen energy here. I got so much of the rare and free here. Look at this. You are rare and free. And again, Stating your sovereignty. You, you've told this person. How many? Look at the grip. And the red. Stating your sovereignty. Declaring freedom and passing a test. I feel like you've done many great works. I don't know who I'm talking to. But you've proved time and time again. 
uh, who you are and what you're capable of and how spirit moves through you. Um, and Jesus did the same thing. He, he did many great works. There's an urgent message here. Um, tr someone's trying to give me an ur There's an urgent message because there's a plan and it's urgent. The wake up. It is your moment. There's an urgent message. There's a grip on you. You're going to person wants to take you someplace. There's I'm asking you stupid questions. And look at this. I told you this is someone that is you're hanging out with that loves you. And um act the song, clap along if you feel that happiness belongs to you. Yeah. This is a hater. They're trying to destroy you and your career or whatever it is you do. Yep. Um, there's examples here. Because when we think of things, negative examples of someone will destroy their reputation. Because if you can think about it, it must be important. We rely on examples that come to mind quickly, easily recalled memories. Most of the time, it's negative. Mm -hmm. This person's tracking you. They're tracking your bad choices. This person gossips about you a lot. Oh, this was it. This was really stretch. If I know you can do better, what words and signals can I use to push you out of your comfort zone? So this person is going to, it feels, I don't know, I don't want to say they're going to get you under the influence because I feel like I give that message a good bit. You know, not everybody does that as a tactic, but it is one that's used often. You know, this person doesn't have any new tactics. Um, again, with the feeding you. Someone's jealous of you. This girl's heavier than you. What words and signals can I give? So sometimes um, parents do this with children. They'll give them a, a code phrase or a code word that would alert the parent that there's trouble. You're being alerted. If I know you can do better, what words and signals can I use to push you out of your comfort zone? Stretch. Mm -hmm. And then you got this. Um, I don't know if this is a spouse doing this to you. Because this long-term relationship, I don't know. But there's a lot of commitment to this person. It feels maybe family. Someone like family. They're around you for the financial gain. There's, it's um, it's someone um holding on to you. This is a victim. This person's been a while. I mean, they've watched you grow up. Um, I mean, I have it here. This person's joy grew complacent over the years. It faded. Their happiness for you has faded. Is this, this could be a childhood friend of yours that you grew up with. You would never, ever think this about this person. You two may have been known each other since you were kids. Is there some red hair? I don't know that this feels like I'm talking to a red hair. This person might have dyed their hair to match yours. They might have been doing the spiritual bath thing. Um, but someone has gifts have grown. That's what I do know. That's what I do know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gossiping. There's a lot of gossip around you. This person's jealous and envious of you. 
and they are when Jesus would come into uh, town this is what people would cause chaos it was and there was a lot of people petty jealous and envious of him and he did have those that were with him as well. I don't know. I need to figure out who this person is because this person just is a hater. They have revenge on their minds. There's a message here of no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. You're very powerful. You're very brave. You're resilient. Your skills, uh, your, your powers have grown like overnight overnight they've grown this is a private relationship you have with the lord it's this person uh someone's gonna call you and they want to meet you right away and you're like why what do i know that could help you this person like i told you they want to call you and it's like they're gonna say something and record a statement of yours mm-hmm they're going to record a statement of yours, and then they're going to chop it and splice it and dice it. What words and signals can I use to push you out of your comfort zone? They're going to do this to you. They're trying to ruin your, your reputation. They have revenge on the mind. They just don't like you. Wishful thinking is one thing, and reality is another. How would you like me to describe you when talking to other people? They are going to ask you a question about someone. Okay, let's just say Mary. What do you think of Mary? Or um, they might, I don't know, whatever they're going to say. They want your opinion on Mary. But they're going to set it up first. They are going to push you. They're going to give you certain words. To push you to say something. Mm -hmm. This is a scheme. This is a snake. This is a snake. I don't know. You got one hell of a snake. And this person, there's something here financial around this person. This person has been spoiled. Look at all the red. This message feels very financial. This person's very curious about you. Um, weirdness. Mm -hmm. It's like, what do you want? This person has an urgent call. Urgent. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Urgent. Urgent. Hot pursuits. It's almost like, help, I'm in trouble, help. But this person is like luring you out. They're luring you out to something and it's um physical. You know, they lured Jesus out too. I mean, of course he knew there was, yeah, he's not, I'm just saying, if they did it to him, they'll do it to you, okay? Now, I'm 30 minutes into the book of read. I had to get a show on the road, but I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I mean, what is wrong with people? I, and I think that that's a thought of yours. Like, what is wrong with you? And you probably think it's weird. Like, what? You just don't understand, like, why this person feels this way. You don't understand. You don't. I, I don't, you know, you don't understand. Like, what? why would they not like me? What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you? I've been nothing but good to you. I've showed you all these. I, I've been so kind and generous. Can we get the message? Can I clarify this for them? No, don't do this.
Sorry, guys. I don't have a pause button. I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't like to start off with reversals. And there's just too many in there. And I get confused. And I, I like a solid message. started off with reversals. All right. I'm sorry. Man, I'm 30 minutes into your reading. That sucks. Yeah, honey, because you're you're just um you're in the public eye and you're some type of magician. And that's how Jesus was saw uh saw your 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 spirits working through you. You're in the public eye, and you're doing these amazing works. And your skills here, it's like Jesus was a carpenter. And this person that you're around works with you. This person needs help financially. This person is help this per this person needs is depressed honey and there's something about working with you working with depression you had depression in your reading these people are misery um they're miserable and you're doing all these works and i think you're helping people um not lazarus uh, the Jesus mixed his spit with the mud and he healed that man's eyes. Mm -hmm. They're gossiping. They're gossiping. And there's unhealthy competition here. These people gossip about your gifts and they don't like you. Um, there's a competitor, competitor here, maybe a rival. I don't even know if you know this person. And I'm sure Jesus, Jesus didn't know all those, you know, um, I, you don't know this person. I, I don't know if you know this person because there's um, in the scripture about the sheep would run away from this person because they know God's voice. They know this person. There's something about your voice. Pay attention here. You're really busy right now. You've got a lot going on. You're very busy right now. There's fear of commitment around you. No focus, no drive. No action, no ambition. I see someone here very busy, very focused, knows their purpose, walks in purpose, knows where they're going. And then I see the opposite right beside of it, right beside of it. Right, this person is lazy. something about working with this person, the three of pentacles in reverse. This person doesn't work. Does somebody here not work? No ambition, no drive, no purpose. Not this person, somebody here walks in purpose. They know who they are. Then right beside you, there's a lot of people around you. I don't like this. These people have no ambition, and it's like you come in and you start hurting these sheep. And it's like putting people on the right path. It's like putting people on the, the empress. I knew it. My empress here is busy all the time. 
walking in purpose, herding her sheep. The people that don't work with you, they don't hear God's voice. They will flee, they will scatter, and that's what I see. I see someone, um, and I also see, like, if people are gossiping about you, when you walk in a room, uh, crickets. Crickets. That's how I feel right now. Crickets. These people ain't going anywhere. They're not doing anything. There's no ambition, and, and people that gossip don't have nothing else going on. They aren't working on anything. There aren't any plans being made. They don't work well with others. They're miserable. Yeah, they don't have any money. These people are uh, weak. They're petty. They're, they're mediocre. And it's like, here you are, very unique, very rare. Um, and this... There's someone here touching your garment. And it's almost, you're like, mm -hmm. Look at her looking at her. I don't know about you, boo. Okay, that'll be about enough. That's how I feel. That'll be about enough. And it's funny. We're on February 2nd, or excuse me, February 11th, 2022. And that's what I have here with the Two of Pentacles and the 11. This is an important message for someone. Okay. The chariot. So there's a crowd of people around you with no ambition, no drive, no purpose. Um, and these could be scattered sheep. And it's like you walk in and the people that hear God's voice hear it and they gather. And they love you. These are men and women. Um, it's like someone is able to reach people. And those that hear the voice do. And, and those that don't, don't. You know, you're going to have some that just can't be coached. Um, that are going to be petty. Yeah. They're going to be defensive. They're going to not be willing. They, you know, they're, some of these people um, that are gossiping and petty are going to say, oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's all you can do. They're just very defensive. Mm -hmm. And there's a narrow gate here as well. And um, it's interesting because if you read that scripture of John 10, it talks about a thief coming. Anybody that jumps over the gate is a thief and a robber. And that's what I see here about someone. They're jumping. They're trying to jump over the gate. There's a thief and a robber here. Um, when, when tested, when tested, um, this person is a thief and a robber. I'm trying to jump up over the gate. Can I go through the gate? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're very, a lot of people are curious and look at all of them following you. Look at everybody following you. There's a lot of mystery around this girl. This empress. Herding her flock. Herding her sheep. Look at everybody following you. That is so cool. Yeah, somebody can walk right in. Okay. Yeah, um, this person is the Queen of Pentacles as well. Hardworking, stable, reliable, you know, green pastures. There's a lot of green pastures here. 
there's a lot of divine light here. People now who um, didn't have any drive, ambition, it's like they heard God's voice and now there's love and there's light and people have purpose. They're finding their purpose, their calling. And it, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's something here about your faith. The faith. And people are gossiping about your faith. And all this work that you're able to do. There's these tower moments. There's these catastrophes that happen. And somehow this person's faith um, shields, protects. Mm-hmm. This person wants to, and I, I knew this was going to go this direction. This person wants to use your past against you. Uh, particularly some type of robbing and stealing you might have done where you betrayed someone. Mm -hmm. This person's very jealous of your gifts. And, um, you know, this is someone that you've grown up. I feel like this is someone you've grown up with since you were kids. This person from your past holds a grudge with you. Mm -hmm. This person steals from you. Trying to steal something from. So these, these people hear God's voice or they don't. And when you talk, sometimes it's not going to make sense because these people aren't of God. And if you read the Bible, a lot of people didn't understand scripture because they didn't, they weren't God's people. I mean, look at the, look at this. These people are confused. They don't know which way to go. They don't have a clue what's coming out of this woman's mouth. They don't know. It's because their heart's not right with God. Their heart's been closed off. Mm -hmm. And there's someone here speaking. There's messages coming out, but not everybody's going to get it. They're not. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's a message coming to you, and it's like... I never said that. I never said that. Who is this person? Um, and you're going to pause before responding. There might be an awkward pause before someone says something. The person's heart. My heart's blocked off. There's communication coming, but it's not from the heart. And it's about money, and it's about being fair. Did I miss one? Sorry, my deck keeps wanting to reverse. I'm gonna keep this in the reverse. I hate reading reversals, three of cups reverse. It's like you don't talk to this person, but there's communication coming at you, and it's it's about money, and it's about being fair. And you're like, I never partied with this person. There was never a celebration. What are they talking about? I never partied with this person. Party there. I never went there. It's 
like, um, try to be fair. You know, in this business, in this line of work, you know, you pay uh, title taxes and tags. It's feel like fees. There's fees. And you're like, I never went there. You get a bill and you're just like, I don't know where this bill is from. I never went there. Um, there's someone here that all there's um there's people here that follow you blindly because they don't need proof. They don't need any more proof. They heard your voice. They knew. They knew. They knew. Okay, you know when you know. These people follow you blindly. Mm -hmm. You don't. They don't need proof. They probably saw proof once and was like, okay, that's my. That's him. That's her. Mm -hmm. And there's communication going out over the airwaves about your gifts. And, and there's something about you. You're just, you're bringing people joy. You're renewing their faith. You're bringing people joy. People that were lost are now found and they're, you're bringing joy and your, 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 your followers have increased. And you're gaining money. There's some monetization here. Oh, Lord. Okay. Got a robber and a thief here. Try to jump up over the gate. Mm. Gossiping about your faith and all these divine miracles that are happening. And um, someone has betrayed you. They have. And, and I, I, this person is telling people that you're a nut. And they said the same thing about Jesus, that he was possessed by the demon. He's got a demon in him. And they also said he was crazy. And that was why they wanted to stone him. They said he was a bla he was blasphemy and that it, uh, he was lying and he had a demon in him. And this person from your past um, is somewhat of a Judas here. They're a thief. They're a con. This, there's some gossip. And they said, I'm not surprised. <sighs> Working on direction. Third party heart, heartbreak. Person suffering a uh, heartache. And I, and I see the heartache. This person's talking. And their heart's closed off. There's heart trouble. Might be at work and something there's a decision you need to make and whatever decision you make that's going to test your works it's going to test your faith in your works this decision it's not fair because whatever decision you make is going to be heartbreaking either way you know this While you're stalling, you're stalling. Mm -hmm. You're stalling. It's um, it's waiting for this person to get it. It's like you don't get it yet. I'm gonna give you a little bit more time. I want to be patient with you. Mm -hmm. You're hoping that spirit, this person, will get a spiritual message. And then here it is, all this conflict. It, there's a lot of ruckus around you. And um, in that pair, in that scripture, that's what Jesus did. He, they tried to arrest him. You might, they tried to arrest him and he got free. And um, he went over the same river that they baptized John in, in the pair, in the scripture. And that's what I see here. You know, he escaped these people that were trying to physically hurt him. Mm -hmm. Unhealthy competition here. Mm -hmm. 
You need to look up the dictionary. Person's got the dictionary. They write the book. Mm -hmm. This authoritarian. You need to rest. It's enough. You need you need to rest. Take a break. Yeah, they're trying to arrest. That's arrest. I'm sorry. I just now got that. <laughs> I'm like, let's take a break. No, we want to try to arrest you. There's an there's an authoritarian here that's gonna they're trying a king of swords is the police take a break that's enough they're trying to take you to jail it's how they did in in that scripture and in the scripture it's like jesus is like listen i'll lay down and die for my people to, i'll lay down and die for my people and that's any if um a hired hand would not sacrifice himself and there's a thief here and if this thief that would come in to lie kill and destroy and that's what i see there's a thief here that is trying to debt things he's trying to lie kill and destroy mm -hmm. But Jesus knows that he would rise again. He's like, I'm fine with it. I'll lay down and die for, for my sheep here. I love them. There's a relationship here. A holy grail relationship. My ears ring. This person will fight. They're going to fight. They're going to stand their ground over their... Um, this isn't... A magician this is a spiritual worker this is a lieutenant of the spiritual community this is an emperor mm -hmm. this person finds depressed they find weak people and there's a savior here Okay. Something about a married couple here. They've worked really hard. They're checking your checking the options here. They would be confused, you know. It's like what? Mm -hmm. There's something on on divine timing here. Mm -hmm. Stability. Um, stability and. Emotional ha family happiness. Because it's written. Something's written by God, the Hierophant. Mm -hmm. Ace of Pentacles. There's a new financial opportunity, and this person took quite the risk. They had, it, it required this person to withdraw from people. Uh, this person had to withdraw from the world. They had to go this route alone. This was a spiritual quest. Mm -hmm. Whatever uh, ascended this person was kicked off by some kind of grief. This person has a lot of wisdom because they've had to endure some type of grief. They've grown. Message coming in here. From someone you love, it feels romantic. There's a romantic message. Go out somewhere. Celebrate your new beginning. Get a sec chance, new cycle. This person's got a grip on you. And there's something they're trying to hold on to their financial security. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Controlling won't let you. Four of Pentacles to the eight. I don't want to let you out of their sight. There's an uneasy, this person's grown jealous of you. 
and your emotional happiness and your the way that you're in and out this person is uh happy being single i mean you could take it or leave it and you get a lot of attention um you're very lustful kind of attention people really admire you and they see you as wifey or husband they uh they spy on whatever you produce and they know that you're the real deal you're the real mccoy you're strong and you got strength on the devil. Yeah, you are a strong uh, opponent of the devil. You're familiar with his work. Mm -hmm. You're waiting. There's a clock on this. I, I know the devil's tricks. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. He's right on time. About to pull up any minute. He's going to try to set this trap for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't know how I'm this divine person who's so cared and protective for, and I got my own people that is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there's something about people painting, the, you know, you're planning something here that these people are waiting for. that are pissed off are having troubles of their own because they are battling their own demons, you know? And it's like they, you know, people go through demonic phases in their life because, you know, we, we deal with, we fight demons every day. We fight demons every day. These people have a lot of burdens on them and they're angry with you. You know, and they hate nothing about you. But there's some type of warning here about somebody in your crew. Now, if you're this spiritually in tune, uh, am I just confirming what you already know? I mean, do you just enjoy watching me because you already know? I mean, spirit kind of says you already know. You already know this person's a miserable fuck. Sorry, they're miserable, they're heartbroken, they're, they, there's a lot of grief on their part, and this person's just miserable. Um, this is a third party heart, heartbreak, and it's miserable. Um, this person is having heart issues. They're miserable. They need help, they need help. Maybe these people that follow you um, are grieved over uh, some type of heart suffering. They need help. Yeah. I do see a relationship here. Four of Wands, stable, celebrating. Look at the cats looking up at you. Mm -hmm. I see people crying, grieving the loss. Someone here is um, in a relationship, and I see some. I see someone crying over the spilled milk because you're you, you're out of reach, Virgo. I'm sorry, but the person you were trying to call, mm -hmm. you're busy. You're busy. Like I know you're home. I know you're home. I know you're home. And I'm not getting this right. They're at the very end of, I was going back through the deck and at the end I, did, I couldn't nail that message. There's something about being at home. This person's pissed off and they um, are carrying a lot of baggage from the, de from the devil. What is this? There's some type of demonic attack on your home. And I felt that in the first spread with the chariot reverse. Demonic. This person's really stressed out and they're angry. And I feel like they're driving past your home. Person's very grieved with you. They hate nothing about you. So, what am I missing here? This 
person's very bitter. Person's some kind of, I mean, I don't think this person's a bad looking person either, Virgo. Like, I'm not going to take it from it. This broad isn't a bad looking girl. I'm, She's attractive and all. She is on the heavier side and darker complected, but she's a good looking girl. And I, I maybe you're just telling these people, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. I, I got other stuff going on, but this you're busy and this people are weighing you down. These people, they're trying to hold on to you and they're getting mad mad. I, sometimes I say things and they make sense later. Like on another reading, I said Munchauser syndrome. And if you listen to the reading, I go much. And I'm like, why would I say much like that? And I, I say these weird words sometimes. And it's like, later, I'll get it. It's like, yeah, you were describing Munchauser syndrome. That's why. Anyway, um, not to run off on a tangent there, but um, okay. Six of swords on the devil, huh? Spiritual gangster here. He's a spiritual gangster. Devil stressed out. Devil stressed, stressed out? And they're mad. The devil stressed out. He's mad. He's going by your house. Spirits will pull you out. It's like um, if, if somebody's getting mad, it's like you, you're getting pulled out in the nick of time all, all the time. And they want to know how you keep doing it. How do you keep evading the devil? And someone's just sipping their tea with their pinky in the air. This person could be um, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a spouse. And you're some type of spiritualist. And people admire you. This person's grown envy of you. They're jealous of you. You're, you seem to be very busy. And this person's trying to hold on to you. But it feels like for finance, for the wrong reasons. I can't take that many, honey. Yeah, walking away. You're walking away from this fight. You gotta, you've got too much to lose now. It's like I'm the queen of pentacles. I've worked hard for everything I have. I don't know why you would be mad at me when I've no, nothing been free. I've worked hard for everything I have. You're walking away from this fight, so I have a reputation. Mm -hmm. And you know this, that there's unhealthy competition here. And this, it's like um, someone setting a trap for you to betray you on purpose. There's a thief here. There's a thief who pretended to love you. It's a woman. You got it, it's too prominent. Something, there was a spirit guide here that moved somebody away from the devil. Person has a lot of baggage and they're dealing with demons. These demons, they would like to hurt you. Get in that house. But somehow you keep uh, managing to invade. And these people sulk. It's a man and a woman. It's a queen of wands and a king of cups. It's a man and a woman. And you're too busy for it. These people are trying to hang on to you. You've walked away. You're walking away from the fight. You're like, this is petty and weak and stupid. I gotta go to work in the morning. Goodbye. Too busy for this. These people don't appreciate it. It's like they want their name mixed up with yours. It's clickbait. It's clout. These are clout chasers. These are clout chasers. They're talking about grudges and messages about money and I loved this one. I loved her and there was, I asked her for money holding a grudge here. There's unhealthy competition around your money. This 
people want to fight you for it. You're walking away. You're like, they're trying to hold on to you because you're go where you're going. Virgo, that only took me an hour to get out. I, I, I hope that makes sense to you, but um, you need to be careful of the company that you keep. Um, it happened to Jesus. It can happen to you. I mean, he was betrayed. And that's what I see, the betrayal. Something about your home, drive by. I, I, there's a drive by. Drive by. Someone here is extremely stressed out about a drive by. Do you know anything about this drive by? There's someone here stressed out about a drive by in the house. Someone stressed out they might have drove past your house and this upset them. You know, you know, and you know, you know what I'm talking about too. Spirit says you know. You know who did it. You know who betrayed you. You know. I must have already I said something that's clicking with you. You you got it. I'm gonna stop. I hope that helps you, Virgo. Take care.